welcome dear students in this video we will discuss moment of a force about a point a force vector is defined by its magnitude and direction as we have seen in the previous lectures now its effect on the rigid body also depend on its point of application so as you can see in this figure this is the force vector and the point of application is a okay now if this point of application is changed say here or anybody means anywhere in the surface then its effect will be different okay so the effect of this force will also depend on this point of application now the moment of this force which is applied on a about o who is the axis of this body is defined as mo m is the moment and moment is about o so this o is representing the point about which we are calculating the moment so mo will be equals to r cross f where r is the distance between the point of application and the axis okay so r cross f is the moment of f about o and this moment vector mo is perpendicular to the plane containing o and the force f so suppose we draw a plane as you can see by this blue color that this is the plane which is passing through o as well as this f so if uh, this is the case uh, then the resultant mo is perpendicular to this plane okay as we have seen in the cross product of vectors so same is the case here okay so mo is perpendicular to this plane containing o and f and uh, the magnitude of mo you can measure by this equation mo will be equal to r into f into sin theta where theta is the angle between f and this displacement vector oa okay so this is the angle theta y r is the magnitude of this displacement and f is the magnitude of this force while the direction of this moment you can calculate by the right hand thumb rule okay right hand rule so when you move from this uh, in this direction from here to here okay then uh, the direction of the moment will be given by your thumb okay as we can have seen in the case of vector product so if you are moving from this to this point then the thumb will give you the direction of the moment any force f dash so suppose we apply any other force f dash that has the same magnitude as direction as f so we apply any other force f dash which is having the same direction and same magnitude so that force is equivalent if it also has the same line of action so if the force is applied along this line this line so that force will also have the same uh, effect okay the, uh, that means it will give the same moment okay now consider the two dimensional structure two dimensional structures are those that have length and breadth but negligible depth so suppose this is the 2d structure which do not have much breadth okay and uh, we have this plane point o and the force is applied in the same plane f so the moment of uh, this force is m not and by the right hand rule the moment vector will be 
out of this plane okay now the force tends to rotate the structure clockwise means uh, uh, the way in which clock rotates okay sorry anti clockwise anti clockwise this is the anti clockwise uh, you can see and this is the anti clockwise okay then uh, the moment vector is out of the plane of the structure and the magnitude is positive so for anti clockwise case we consider that the m not is positive while if the force tends to rotate the clockwise so this is the clockwise okay so then we consider that the moment of the force is negative and it will point into the downward direction okay so uh, while in this case the moment vector will point in the upward direction okay so this is how you can calculate the moment for a 2d case now let us see Varignon's theorem this theorem is very important it uh, this theorem says that the moment about a given point o of the resultant of several concurrent forces suppose we are having several concurrent forces f1 f2 f3 f4 and these forces are concurrent means they are passing through the same point and then the moment of these forces about this point is equal to the sum of the moments of the various moments about the same point okay means moment of the resultant you can write on the rhs oh, sorry left uh, left hand side r cross here in this bracket this is the resultant will be equals to r cross f1 means moment of this force plus r cross f2 means moment of this force plus moment of this force plus moment of this force and so on okay so by using Varignon's theorem you can write in this way and Varignon theorem makes it possible to replace the direct determinations of the moment of force by the moment of two or more components of force so suppose if, you, if there is a force then instead of calculating the moment or directly you what you can do you can break the force into components say x and y and z components and then you can calculate the moment of each component and then simply add that then you will get the total moment now let us see the rectangular components of the moments of a force about o means origin suppose this is the force f and these are the three components of the force fxi fyj and fzk and we have to calculate the moment of this force about the point o which is also the origin okay so as you uh, you know that moment about origin or can be calculated by this cross product r cross f now this r vector you can simply write because the coordinates of this point is x y z so you can write r vector as x i plus y j plus z k and similarly you know the components of the force so you can write f as f x i f y j and f z k then this moment vector m x i plus m y j plus m z k will be simply equals to the cross product which we can also write in the form of determinant so that you can easily remember it so in the first row you will write ijk in the second row you will write the displacement vector x y and j and in the third row you will write the components of force that is fx fy and fj and then what you need to do you simply open this determinant and you will get this y f z minus z f y i and so on so this is how you can calculate the moment 
about the origin. Now we will see if we have to calculate the moment of force about at point B which is not at the origin which is slightly different from the origin. So that uh, moment about B will be equals to RAB where A is the point of application and B is the point at which we want to calculate the moment. So we will write R A cross B sorry A slash B cross F. Now we need to write this R A slash B. So R A slash B can be written as position vector of A minus position vector of B. So that will be equals to X A minus X B I plus Y A minus Y B J plus Z A minus Z B K. And this force you simply write Fxi plus Fyj plus Fzk. Now for calculating the moment you simply write these two vectors in the form of determinant. So in the first row Ijk, in the second row uh, this components of position vector and in the third row components of force vector. And when you open this determinant you can calculate the moment of force F or moment of this force F about point B. Now we will see the rectangular components of the moment of force for a 2D structure. So this is your 2D structure okay and this is the force F. It has two components Fx, I and Fyj. Then your moment will be this x f y minus y f z because other two term will vanish okay so as you can see this is the term which we have operated previously for 3d case now this term will vanish out because this f z is 0 z is 0 okay again in this case this z is 0 f z is 0 so only this term will left out okay so your moment will be x f y minus y f x and it will be in the k direction and similarly you can obtain the moment about a point b which is different from the origin okay as in this case so in this in that case you simply replace this x and y by x i a minus x b and y a minus y b so this is how you can calculate the moment for a 2D structure. So thanks for watching. Thank you everyone. Have a nice day.